I'm here with Jeremy Davis at the BAFTA Games Awards 2019. Um, how did you first get cast as the stranger in God of War? Well, that's a dangerously good question, but I think it's only fair to point out first just how magnificent your hair is. <laughs> I really wish... I was suggesting to Corey my hair might should be just like that for my character. Maybe there's like a DLC where your character has like a new hairdo. <laughs> yeah, hey, he likes it. He's a tattooed guy, right? <laughs> um, um, so, how did what were you saying? How did how I did end you up land in the role? The, yeah. yeah, that's um, yeah, a dangerously good question because I'm still shocked they let me in the gate here, <laughs> and I'm not even sure it's officially too late to recast yet. So I'm, I feel like I've been getting away with it, um, and the reason I ended up in it is because Corey kind of blasphemously uh, called me and um, you know I I told him I, I had I just could not understand how he thought it was a good idea to cast me as a god with like a badass mid-atlantic dialect after seeing me play a, a, a homicidal uh, Trumpian redneck on Justified. Do you know that show? I don't. Know. That's apparently he saw that and for some reason thought I could, you know, that was what make did that it. leap. But um, which is a great honor and privilege because you don't get a chance as an actor to show a lot of range. Yeah. You know, you I don't know any other characters like, like the stranger. No. No, I don't know. It's a, like he's quite almost like psychotic, but almost lovable in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's almost uh, yeah, a bit drunken. A bit, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 um. Um, Kratos and you have a very brutal rivalry in the game. How did you kind of like achieve that? Did you get to do some scenes together, or are you like completely separate? Oh no, we we yeah. Uh, I, did you get to fight each other? <laughs> yeah, you met Chris. And, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. He's the strategy was you know you work with someone who's uh, as magnificent and uh, multi-heart chambered as he is because uh, the last thing you want is what you're actually the tension you're actually trying to yeah, recreate yeah. and it was actually very playful and safe and comfortable and you know, I really liked the experience um, with uh, with uh, motion capture because it, have you done it before it um I hadn't done it, and you know the advantage, the distinction between film and TV is is. Uh, uh, forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but um, it in film and TV it's like you're playing chess on the train tracks because so much money, like every minute it's a thousand dollars, and and yet and it goes. It's, it's like building a house of cards on the deck of a speeding boat and there's a lot of stress and tension yeah. which triggers fight or flight in your autonomic nervous system so you can't perform as well but it, it, when you have it contained on the stage there's yeah, sure. you can take a lot more time do a lot more takes which relaxes you as an actor because if you you start doing takes and you know you can do it 50 times then you automatically like become less self-conscious because it allows you to be more like jazz in the moment and feel okay with making a mistake because it's so easy to correct the mistakes and I'm sure I made far more than my share. Pardon me? Oh, I'm sorry. You can go. I don't <laughs> Good luck.